All right, it's Tuesday, right? Yeah, it's Tuesday. I'm ready to tell. Um, let's start with Gem God. Okay, so before we get more into the video, we're only like three, four subscribers away from 500, so that's pretty big. Okay. Yeah, so we're three, four subscribers away from 500, so that's big. And once we reach 500 subscribers, that's when, you know, y'all will get uh, the big surprise that I have in store. Hmm. Okay. Where would this take me? 45, 12? He's not going to do that much damage, will he? he no, he might. He does not. Okay. Then I think I do this. Harden because he his his counter doesn't go through it. Okay. Um and also if I seem a little jittery, hyper, whatever, it's because I had four energy drinks. So I'm I, I feel pretty hyper. Pretty energetic. I can't stop shaking. <laughs> I have an idea. I have an idea. Ninety percent. He's just gonna go for the nullify if he swaps back in his Concatosaurus. Comsoraptor. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Oh. Just swap. No! Wait, please. Wait. Oh, I forgot. I'm invincible. So that's like what? Fit 30? Well, I've lost my Grey Lincoln because I wasn't expecting him to swap into a, thyl a Thylos, to be honest. Yep. 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 Might as well just go strike into a rampage. But that's not going to do much. Because I'm just going to lose to the stupid rend. All because I wasn't expecting him to swap into a Philo. Uh, really? He went- are you freak- oh my lord, have mercy. Um... I'll just do this. I'll save the rest for later. But that's like two battles in a row now where it's been Grylankin versus Thylos and it's then the Thylos has went through my dodge, which is really annoying. Is he just gonna go for nullifying? He might not kill me because of my armor. I don't know. Yeah, but what's gonna do I I don't think I die here. I think I win. I think. He's slower. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring in my, um, Scootometrodon. And whatever he comes in is gonna take a big hit from my impact. And then I can just do whatever from there. I'm surprised. If I gotta be, I didn't realize this. I just realized it. That Concatosaurus was only that Concat. The Concatosaurus wasn't even enhanced, so that's a little odd. Because normally the Concatosauruses I face are enhanced. All right, next battle. All right, battle two. And also, I want to apologize for recording so late tonight. Um, I got home around. 
eight o'clock. And then from then from there, um, I had to practice singing for my church because on Thursday I'm actually audition auditioning to sing in my church, um, in my church's worship team. And so Thursday I have to sing three songs. I have to sing uh, Great Are You Lord, Firm Foundation, and I forget the other one. But it's one I'm not too familiar with. Firm Foundation, Great Are You Lord, Built My Life or something? Built on You? It, it's something like that. I don't know. And I have to go in, I, and on Thursday I have to go in at around what the heck okay we'll just go into the next battle as i'm talking i have to go in around oh I ha i'll have to leave my house around 8 30 and then my audition is at nine and she and um the lady who's doing the audition said it should the audition should take around half an hour and i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty nervous about it and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just nervous about it, but I'm also really excited because I enjoy singing. I've sang for the last, oh my Lord, hold on, I'll, look, I'll get back into this, hold on. All right, a brief intermission, I'm going to, I'm darting a uh, Euclidosters real quick. And as I was saying, I've actually, I've actually been into, if I can speak. I've been into singing for the last three years almost. It'll be three years this June that I've got into singing because um, three years ago this June, um, I had some issues and singing really helped me to get over those issues over the course of that time. And then also tied in with singing was um, finding a religion, which would be Christianity because when I was a child... I went to church, I was Christian, all that, but it was kind of a thing where I didn't enjoy going to church and I felt forced to go to church by my parents and I didn't enjoy church. But now as an adult, I've actually like developed a relationship with God and all that stuff and I found purpose and I enjoy religion. Um, I'll I'll just start Alacranic because a lot of people have been, because people have been, con people have been starting Concatosaurus. Gemini? Okay, well, that's good for me, because you lose. Pretty sure, anyways. 76. Okay, yeah, you do more. And just over time, I've sang and sang, and, like, I've wanted to take singing lessons. I've wanted to take singing lessons, but I I, I, I didn't, because they're, they're really expensive, and I don't want to waste money on that. Because when I was in school, I wasn't, like, when I was in uh, middle school and high school, I wasn't in, like, choir or something. I actually was in band for six, seven years. I played oboe. And from that, with singing, I, I may have not taken lessons in singing, but I do have good intonation. And like, if I'm singing to a song, I can listen into it and I can try to match the note or notes. Um, six, eight, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. I'll just do this. That's not going to hurt too much, right? Yeah, 2254, that's not much. And I've been told throughout my life, because the, the earliest I can remember was when I was in sixth grade when I first started band. Um, like, in, and through all of middle school and high school, I played oboe. I enjoyed a lot. And but my um, people, my family, they wanted me to play clarinet because my mom and my cousin played clarinet. So they're like, hey, we played the clarinet, so you should play clarinet. I'm like, no, I don't like clarinet. I'd rather play the oboe. It's more fun and I like how it sounds and everything. What's he going to swap into? Panther or Saw? And people told me that I have a good voice and that I should be like, and I should be, and I should sing. You just die here, don't you? 
but I never did that because I because when I was younger I wanted to pursue more of a more of a uh, like I I wanted to focus more on singing in school. Yeah, you're just dead. You you've literally killed yourself. That was not smart. Did you think I was gonna go for a vase of hunt for whatever reason, whatever stupid reason? So I didn't do that. But then, like I said three years ago, I I had issues. I I got better through friends, uh, um, attending church and all that. How fat? How much do you do? You're just gonna kill me with shelter. Well, no, you're probably gonna go for. I wonder if. I wonder if you'll go for Berserk. Nope. 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 I'm- I- I didn't play that well. I play that poorly. <sighs> Sorry, my adrenaline's going. Like I said, I'm jittery because I've had four energy drinks. Which is probably not a good idea. Do I go for alert defense? No. I don't think I do. I think I'll be fine. And so, like, just the last three years, I've really gotten into singing. And, um, I think it was last year, I think, I wanted to pursue, I wanted to potentially, not necessarily pursue a career or something in, in music. It's just I wanted to do something that involves singing. And then um, a few weeks ago, I was actually thinking about um, of what I could do for singing or something. He's going to swap into Thylos. Or not. Really. Okay, I think I've probably lost this one. And then that week, I think it was th th Thursday or Friday of that week, I actually thought of it. He he can just swap in and kill me. I've lost this one. Hmm. <laughs> well, now he's faster than I, because... The stupid shield. And then that week, I'm like, you know what? Maybe, because I was trying to figure out something I could do with singing. And then that Saturday that I had went to church. You just kill me with your berserk, right? I have nothing to really go against you. I have my alacranics, but you can just swap into your thylos. And then that Saturday, um, the pastor at my church was like, if you're interested in volunteering at the church, we would love to have you. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go online. I'm going to see how I can volunteer. And one of the things was something called what they do, um, a mission trip. So they go to different countries around the world, obviously. And I, I remember two of them, they said that they, they've been to, I think, Venezuela and then some other countries in South America and then um, Uganda, Africa and Rwanda. And the Africa one was one I was actually really interested in. You know, I'll do one more battle as I'm talking to you. And it was something I was really interested in because Africa is my like I, I've always wanted to visit Africa since I was a little kid. For whatever reason, because I've just been, because my favorite animals have always been something from Africa. Rhinos, elephants, leopards, spotted hyenas, and whatever else that I can't think of. And I'm like, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to write down that I'm interested in going on a missions trip. I, uh, I talked to someone and he said that I had actually missed my opportunity to go because they went sometime earlier in the year, I think he said. So I missed it. And he, and he said, well, we'll have someone reach out to you. And so someone did. And she gave me a list of what I could volunteer in. And one of those things was 
being a member of the worship team at my church. So where I say where I sang. Yeah, that doesn't affect me too much. So I have to do 5.2k. I have to bring you down to 5.2k at least. I don't think I will. I think I'll get close. But per no, no, I think I will. I will. I will. But it also sucks if I don't get that crit. Oh wait, no, you're dead either way. Unless you swap out for whatever reason, which you probably will. How fun. But I think I can maybe kill you with a crit. Alexa, what's 2807 plus 25%? The answer to your question is 2,827. That's, that's not at all correct. Wait, did I say 25 or 25%? 25 I don't know. And so I, I applied for it. Kill it, crit, kill it. Okay, perfect. So I had put down that I was in... Easy, bro, you're dead. How... What? Who puts 157 speed on an Alacranix? You must be mental. You must be mental. Okay. And so uh, I got in touch with her, and then she, and she's like, "Okay, cool. You're interested in this. I'll actually um attach one of the I'll I'll attach the lead worship." I'll, I'll attach the worship leader in the email and you can talk to her about it. I'm like, okay, dope. <sighs> and so I've been in contact with her and I, I started talking to her yesterday and she's like, okay, um, what would you be interested in the earliest time that we could do? Um, would be Thursday at 9 p.m. Or not 9 p.m., sorry, 9 a.m. if that's convenient for you. I said, yeah, that works fine. Is she going to swap out? No. Aren't you dead? I still have my ferocity. Come on. Okay. And and then she gave me a list of songs that um, for the audition, she said that I would have to sing to show off my talents, where I am with my relationship with God and my journey, and just what he is in my life. And those songs are Firm Foundation, which is a song that I, I was already practicing singing because that's one I enjoy a lot. Okay, how many, I'm not putting this on Great Lincoln. I'm just seeing how many I need. Seven. Okay. And um, I'm just going to keep talking while we wait. And um, the other two songs, they present a bit of a challenge because of my octave. I don't know what I am. I don't know if I'm an alto. I don't know if I'm a soprano. I don't know if I'm a, uh, a tenor. I don't think even, I don't even think tenor is an actual range in... Um, Whatchamacallit. Um, yeah, I don't even know if it's a range in, like, singing. I just know it's a con- You have no life. Literally, all I can do is that. Sorry. And, uh... I, can't, I really can't remember the names of it. One's Firm Foundation. One is Great Are You Lord. And I think the other one's like Built On You or something. It's something to that extent. Go for the thingy. Expose Weakness. Dodge. Bro. And so I have that to look forward to on Thursday because I don't I don't work on Thursday because I asked if I could have that off because I had that thing, and um my boss allowed me agreed to allow to have agree to allow me to have that day off whatever. Mm. 
Why did he swap? Oh, that's why. He went into a pantherator. Mm. You're still going to take a big hit from the rend. Gonna do at least 80. Dang it. I'm still swap prevented, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna go for my Saw Panthera, because I'll have my priority on Revenge. And then also next week on Tuesday, I was supposed to um, I'll just do that. I was supposed to start my new job, but she said that I had, I had called today to see if she had got my background check yet and asked when I start because it said in the email that I received saying it start it said I start on the 15th but it didn't give a time so I called in regards to that and um she said that that was just an estimated time of when I could start she just hasn't received my background check yet and I can only start once she's received that and like I said she hasn't received that yet so that sucks What's he go for? Shielding alert ramp rampage. Do this so he swap prevented. Br br There's no way. Why didn't you just go for strike? He could, he should have just went for strike, but bro didn't. Okay. So he went for sh shielding, and then okay, so he has it up next turn. He's vulnerable, right? Yeah. He should have shielding up, right? Because shielding, and then into the rampage. And I think he's, he went for strike. I think I can kill him here. <gasps> well, he's dead if he doesn't... Well, no, he's dead anyway. Yeah, so... Okay. <gasps> Oh no, we're gonna tie. Really? Eh, well that's not a win or a loss, so... We're just Immortal Penguin. Interesting. Alright, let's get into, like, what, the fourth or fifth battle? I don't know what it is. I hope y'all are enjoying this special tilt, because... I don't think I've ever done this before, except maybe one video, maybe. And I think it was because of what I, what my opposition was. Ooh. He does a lot of damage. But then also, like, not only did I do it because of the opposition that I was facing, it was also mainly, well, not mainly, it was also partially because I wanted to do more battles. I wanted to play the game more. He's just gonna, on escape abuse me, isn't he? Because I don't think I can kill you, because I think I do, like, 74, 75,000. Alexa, what's 60, 15 plus 25%? 6,015 plus 25% is 7,000. Yep. But I don't think he'll kill me, or will he?
All right. What does he have next? Tyranometrodon. How fast are you? Yep, you're faster than I. I knew that. I knew that was going to be a thing. Alexa, what's 132 plus 25%? 132 plus 25% is 165. Alexa, what's 151 plus 10%? 151 plus 10% is 166.1. <laughs> I'm faster. <laughs> He's going to go for decimating hunger, I'm going to assume. Alexa, what's 97.17 minus 66.7%? Perfect. Oh, I have to get a crit. I have to get a crit. Come on, I have to get a crit. 60% chance, come on. Cry Lincoln. Boom. Every time, I think every time my Grand Lincoln has faced a Tyranometrodon, maybe, um, all but one time, I think my Grand Lincoln has always beat a Tyranometrodon. I'm not going to do that, because that would be really stupid. So we're just going to do this. Tier 2. Okay. Interesting, interesting. That's honestly really unfortunate. But I win. Doesn't matter what I bring in next, I win. Does he kill me? Oh yeah, well I'll have the, yeah, okay. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, I love my Grylankin. I really love Grylankin. I've missed using Grylankin. I'm, I'm, I'm glad they buffed it, and it was a, bu a buff that actually made it usable. Because if y'all didn't know, if you go into my er like when I first started the channel, I actually used to run Grylankin, but then I benched it once Dilora Kyrus got buffed, and it kind of pushed Grylankin out. Bef but before Grylankin was a, a good counter for like Indonemies, Indotaurus. Spina Constrictor, uh, Foyer, Foyerex, Foyer, Foyerex, Foyerex, what, however you say it, Foyerex, Foyerex, like, Indominus, Indominus Gen 2, Hold on, let me, let me take a look, because I actually don't know. Um, I think Lycan, but I don't think I used Grylinkin was when Lycan was a thing. Um, I think maybe early Dominus. I'm just curious because I because I can't remember. I think maybe Anocyonics. I could be wrong, but I think it could be Anocyonics. I think if that was even used around the time when I used my Grelankin, because I don't remember because that was. I don't know how long ago, almost two years ago, maybe. Um, Indoraptor Gen 2, I think. Thylaconics. I already said Phororex. Phororex. Phorosaura. Al mm, I don't think Alberta Spinos. I don't think Relicaspix. Magna, but Magna also was crappy at the time. It sucked. Um, maybe Utaranix. I don't know. 
I know uh, Seal Haas used to used to always beat it because it would always be faster and everything. Because Grylenkin never had speed up, but now it does. It now has acceleration. I don't think Fukui Mimas. Not Panther Blythe. Eh? I think Rexy. I think it could beat Rexy, but if Rexy went impact into dominant roar, it beat it. It would beat Grylenkin. Spionix, obviously, because that's it's a pretty bad creature. And that's really all I can think for legendaries, but hold on. So let me just do this. And then Yeah, I think that was it for the Apexes, except or Apices, except maybe it could be Gorgatrabax. I would imagine it could. Okay, and here we go. Here are my things that I don't have leveled. I'm mostly only incl including things people use in arenas like aviary and library when I was in it. Maybe Intelocerus. I don't know. I think that's it. All right, next battle. All right. Let's sh let's get her done. I'm still jittery, so I'm all over the place. I don't like this team. I'll do ref first because ref is kind of like cannon fodder. Oh, have mercy. Um. I think I'll just do this. I think I go strike into super distraction. I think. He might go for alert squall, but I don't think so. I think he'll go for disperse breaking impact. Yeah, okay. Oh, I just realized he has max attack on his Kyrie. Who the heck does that? Eh, whatever. That's fine. Because I have Saw Panther and then I also have Panther Raider, so... I almost put in my Panther I didn't mean to do that. I do. Okay. So he went for Ren. Hopefully I'll dodge both Rens, or at least one of them. Dodge, please. Phew. I don't think he'll go for the Rampage, but he might. Oh, he will. Dodge. I don't even think I have my dodge still, did I? Two turns, four attacks. Yeah. Eh. I guess he just went through my thing. And then I'll cleanse that. Whatever comes in next is either going to take a rampage or affliction. Oh, he still has his Kyrie. I just realized. How much do you do? 39.64? Okay. That's one thing about Kyrie I've never really liked was total immunity on escape, because it doesn't make sense. Total immunity, so immunity means like it's immune from like negative effects, but it's not. And that used to be what people believed it used to like what it used to be, because it's like, oh I swapped in on a Kyrie and I didn't stun it. It must be total immunity on escape. Like that's not how it works. Are you kidding me? I think this game really just bo all boiled down to the fact that he got a crit.
So what do you have? I don't know what he has left. His Thylos died. He's he's lost his Kyrie. Uh, yeah, I don't know what he has left. But I have... <sighs> yeah, there's literally nothing I could do. He just had to help stupid Kankata look. I hate Kinkotalic, I hate Kinkotalic. I could get something that beats Kinkotalic. But, my issue, I don't have coin. I only have like 80 some thousand, or 90 some thousand coins. And I need 300 thousand coins. Okay, so I have Tura Moloch, level 25 with, with DNA, and then I have Fuses for it, right? Yeah, but I need Tejangasaurus, wow. I really need Tijangasaurus. I'm in desperate need of Tijangasaurus DNA. Is deficit the right word? I don't know. And then if we go to Concatasaurus, I have a thousand plus DNA for it. Plus all this. Well, I only have 20. Okay. It's just, okay, so the issue is just Tanatosaurus. Okay. Even though I, I darted all my con or, or all I I've darted all the Tanata sources that have been in the events recently, I think, pretty sure. And then to get Concata Source so or any unique to from twenty one to twenty five, you need three hundred thousand coins. So I need three hundred coins for that, and then I need coins for the fusing, and then for something like Platyrex, I need three hundred thousand coins to get Platyus uh Platyapicosaurus or Platy or Platya yeah, Platyapicosaur source the 300, and then, what's the other thing, isn't it, Tenatosaurus, or Tenatorex, yeah, and I need three, another 300,000 for Tenatorex, so that's what, three, six, nine, yeah, I need almost a million coins, and then how, and then bonus coin for if I can level any of that stuff up, depending on my fuses, and then I have to get boost for those, and then the only thing I'd be willing to strip boosts off of are possibly my gem god, but I feel like that could get buffed in the future. Alacranix and Ref. Alacranix is gonna be the one that I I um I strip of boosts because it's it's been performing okay, but again, its biggest struggle <clears throat> excuse me are um its biggest it's yeah its biggest struggle is Phlox. Phlox absolutely destroy it because it has no group moves. If the uh, one okay, big things that they could do to me help make Alacranix m more meta. I can't think of the word relevant, meta relevant. Make neuro make necrotic impact group move, not group necro not group necrotic impact. Just keep the name and then have it make it target all opponents. Strike on escape. I feel like something else could be more beneficial than that because I think that's the worst on escape in the game. Because, like, yes, you have something like evasive, evasive strike, but at least that's giving you a positive effect. I can't think of anything else worse than strike on escape. And then change the counter to what Kankakui Source has, which is the Shattering Devour counterattack or something. Where is it? Not this one. This one. Just replace the crappy fierce counter, which is one of the worst counters in the game, to shattering devour counter strike. That would, that would be good. Like it gives it that devour heal, so it makes sense because Alacranix already has it in its kit, and then also it's just more damage on top of like everything in general, and and has good attack. Because if you look at something like Sunga Scorpius, I believe it only has a base of like eleven hundred attack or something, or somewhere around or somewhere in that range. Where's mine at? I could be wrong, but I think it's somewhere around 1100. And it has a full counter, but and that counter fully cleanses everything. 
and it makes you literally involve invo it makes you immune to everything and it's annoying and it has that turn one stunning nullifying pinning rampage which is absolutely insane and that's why it's been meta for so long i think the highest usage its highest usage rate it's ever had in the meta since it's released was 99.4 percent i looked at it today i was looking through the different um meta usage meta percent usages among creatures from i think like 2.14 i think it was on the toolbox to um 3.5 which is what we are in now and sunga scorpius has had the highest thing out of like highest usage rate out of everything out of that and out of everything available there they're most likely before in other um metas and other metas creatures had a hundred percent thing a hundred percent usage rates like possibly Ardentus maxima uh gemini titan gemini titan trichosaurus Qu quetzorion smile and emmys and i'm just naming things that i remember back in the day that used to be meta you would think people would have used uh parasithops but not everyone did which is weird because it used to be meta for not a long time but it was annoying and then like Sarah Magnus, Hadros, uh, Hadros Lux, Mortem Rex. Because when they were, because when Hadros Lux was first released, Mortem and Sarah Magnus, they were all bosses, and then, like, they were forced to be reckoned with. Also in in, in Gorga Trebex, and Gorga Trebex, and then like I know Hadros Lux and Sarah Magnus got nerfed heavily to the ground to where no one used them. They were pretty bad, but people still used them, but they were pretty bad. And then got things like Mortem Rex that were good. That I meant that was good. And then it was nerfed to where it was unusable. And then Gorgon Trebex just never received anything. It never received any love, any hate. It just remained bland, stale, and it fell off the meta. And then it, of course, recently got the buff where it now has the turn one rampage. And then on Revenge, uh, it. Removed one cooldown, and then it finally got a group move, and that group move on on revenge is priority, and it reduces your hammer your damage by 100 percent, or your distraction you get distracted by 100 percent, but then also decelerates you, which is good because one issue with Gorgon Trebex is like yes, it's a cunning, but it's always struggled with its speed because for a Gorgonopsid, that 113 is extremely slow. Because if you look at something like Parasitops, like, yes, it's a Gorgonopsid, but, like, it's also a healer. And then it's also made from Parasaurolophus, Lux, and Acrocanthops. And both are not very fast, because this is 112 from 110 and 131, I think. Yeah. And then, um, it just got slower once it fused with Parasaurolophus, Lux. So I guess that makes sense to a degree, in my opinion, at least because it's a healer. You don't really want fast healers because you want your healers to be the ones that typically act last, I believe, because like after a big hit on your on the team from a from a raid boss or something, you can just heal, or just in general in PvP. But then you got something like Alberta Sevia, which is what one twenty three or one twenty four or one twenty one. Sorry. It's still pretty fast. It's still decently fast for an Alberta C for a Gorgonopsid, considering what it is, which is Edif uh, Edifice which is what I didn't I didn't mean to click out, <clears throat> which is one twenty seven. So it's slower because of the Edifosaurus, and then that is fused with Albertosaurus, which is slow. So it makes sense for it to be one twenty one. So like the slower ones, like Alberta Sevia and Paris and Parasithops, it makes sense that they're slower because of what the ingredients are. And then I can't think of any other Gorgonopsids. Excuse me. That are like fast, at least meta relevant, whatever. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that is. All right, before I get off on more of a tangent and everything, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Remember, we're super close to 500 subscribers. Once you reach 5,000 subscribers, y'all uh, will see the, the, um, the prize. Well, not prize. It's just a special. I don't, it's not a special. 
it's just a thing to celebrate it. It's, it yeah, it's just I don't know how to explain it. I forget. I can't think of the word right now. It's just to celebrate 500 subscribers, and I think most of you, most of you, if not all of you, will enjoy what I have in store. I've been working on it for for some time, and I'm, and probably when I get done recording this, I'll probably go work on it more. So I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing as it helps the channel and I out tremendously in numerous ways and just supporting us in general uh stay hydrated stay safe and i'll see y'all in the next video peace